Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. This week I am doing a trans channel. T-R-A-N dash channel. It stands for transformative channel. It's a unique style of, of channeling that I have uh, created, I guess, or discovered where I uh, collaborate, co-collaborate with uh, Spirit in the Afterlife to bring you interesting and, and intuitive uh, discussion. So usually when I do a trans, trans channel, I bring in Prince. Why Prince? Because he was the first. He was the one that has been with me for the last two years while I have been embarking on this journey to improve my channeling skills. Although I have been a psychic, a medium, and an intuitive for 14 years as a professional, working with people just like you to help you connect with your spirit and to connect with the afterlife to really live the best life that you can live. Now, I am not sure who's gonna come in. I kind of have a feeling I think there's one of two spirits that have been kind of close lately, and so we'll have to see who shows up. I hope you really enjoy this trans channeling experience. Now, you will hear another voice from off, off camera. That voice is the voice of my husband, who is my helper, my cameraman, and helps to guide me if I'm having a transformative channel and I want to make sure I get back and I'm connected fully and grounded. He helps me to do that if I need it, extra help. All right, so let's begin. All right, so you're gonna see me transition. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it takes a while. So just be patient with me. Okay, let's begin. I'm asking my angels and my guides, my healing team aligned with my highest good, the connection to God, creator, source, and the universe to support this process. The intent is for whatever is for the highest good. And I ask for a platform of truth and connection. Help me to stay grounded and centered while I share, successfully collaborate in this energetic space. All right, so I'm gonna ask for Prince first. That's how I'm gonna, oh, it's really easy. Oh, it's super easy. If it's so easy, she needs to get out fully. Just get out and give yourself time. Give yourself time. I'm not jumping out of a plane, Bridget. There are two, she's right. George Michael is the one that's coming forward. He's dressed in all white. That's okay with her. She expected that, everyone. It's all right. I'll help to balance the energy. It's needed. You can come in, George. He's kind of shy. He's a shy guy. Oh, his energy is different. Adjust. You can do it, just adjust. She doesn't smoke, does she? I can feel so much fluffiness in the, the chest, you know, the, the lungs. I feel so, wow, so grateful. So much gratitude for your wife for what she does. Thank you. Wow, this is incredible. It feels fantastic. Uh, I'm a spirit. 
I am what you say transitioned fully. I, I think I need to clarify that. I don't want, I think there's some miss, you know, some miss uh, messages maybe being shared. I really want people to understand that I, I'm spirit, you know, I'm with God. I believe in God. I have believed in God and I'm so blessed and I so believe. So much faith, so much faith, so, so much faith. And feeling in this body is incredible as a spirit. It's such a high. I feel so, I feel really good, really good. Maybe it's because I'm not fully in the body, but this is fantastic. Thank you. Wow, this is great. This is great. I'm not really sure uh, how this goes. I uh, I came in the car today, Careless Whisper, one of the songs that Bridget recognizes. <laughs> Had to do that. And, uh, you know, it's fun to be with Bridget, to share and to talk. And, and we're, you know, we're building some um, rapport together. And I, I do enjoy our conversations. You know, I do enjoy our conversations. So, I, I would really like to share, recognizing that I have a platform here I know that there's a depth of seriousness for those who, who we leave behind abruptly, quickly. I understand the desire for closure and the need for that. I would like to say how important it is for you as you watch to recognize how spirit is. What does that really mean? I hope you can see. It's, there's so much peace here. It's boundless. It's like fluffy clouds and birds and light. So much light in it. There's a golden hue. There really is. If there is a spectrum of color that I would recognize for human eyes to see, I would say golden yellows. When the sky has the golden yellows and the contrast of the white and the blues, that's magic. That is a reminder of you as us. We are connected. We are all connected. We are all one and we are all one. And there's a harmony, a harmonization that happens in the spirit sense of the world that trickles down or not, it doesn't come down on you. It comes out of you. Your spirit comes out of you. And I want people to really understand that, that whatever you call it, intuition, soul voice, um, um, oh, Bridget says, uh, highest, highest self, inner self. Well, it doesn't matter what you call it. You are this beautiful ball of light and are completely free to, to make your life your own. And I think it feels like Sometimes the hardships that we experience in our lives and that suffering, especially the depression and the depths of despair that we can really get into the dark holes that we can put ourselves into, you know, one mistake after another and we kind of stumble and then fall. An important thing I want you to realize is that you can stand back up. You can stand up. You can rise back up into that spirit form 
and let that spirit form of yourself uplift your body and then together carry you on your human path. It's important for you to be a human. It's important for you to understand that you don't have to leave. You don't have to be done with the body in order to experience spiritual freedom. You have that ability now. And it feels so good. And I feel so blessed to be able to share this with you and to tell you that God is real. There is a supreme source energy that is a God and that connects all of us, whether we're a person inside this human earthly life or whether you're a spirit as I am. I am fully em embraced by heaven and the golden gates. That's the kind of re reception I had when I crossed out of humankind and into spirit. It is so difficult to find the right words to describe it. I want you to understand that you don't have to escape the body to be free in spirit. That's really an important, oh my gosh, that's so important for people to understand. And faith, faith is more than a religion. Although religion to me really did help me in many ways. And although I didn't believe all of the doctrine, and I know that there are many who would condone and condemn or condemn, condemn religion because of the hate that can be practiced. Look at your world now. Look at the new pope. Look at the expanded, loving acceptance that is now in the world that exists for you that I didn't have. Many of you know I didn't have that ability to be myself, to love fully and openly in my lifetime. It took a lot of years to get to that point, and now you have that on the human plane and on human platform. You can do that now. And it's not because religion changed. It's because you did. You as the oneness that is God, that is this all, all connecting energy of spirits. It's all spirits as one, one light. And that's what changes things. So if you do practice a religion, don't, you don't need to feel bad or apologize. There are some parts of everything that you won't agree with. You don't agree with everything of anything. You read a book and you disagree with the author on three points or, you know, you can have disagreement with, and dissension without just abandoning everything. I really want people to understand that because that's where self-love comes in. Self-love is really important. It's really important. It's so important. That's something that I want people to learn from me in my life. I want you to learn about the matter of self-love and being compassionate toward one another and uplifting one another and recognizing when each other is in need and helping, whether it's a child or a homeless person or animals, an animal shelter, or your, your best friend. Check in with one another. Make sure that what's going on on the surface is really the truth because inside people can feel very alone and it's important soul to soul that we connect with one another. It's really important to do that. And yes, I connect with you. Yes, I hear you. That is something that I, 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 when we did our first few conversations, there were comments about that. And yes, I am with you. You talk to me. I'm with you. It's like you're sending me a text or you're responding to me on Instagram, whatever your social media, we'll call it spirit media. I get it. I want... I want you to know that I feel your love and I want to give it back to you. I want to bounce it right back, beam it right back to you like just a spotlight of love because self-love is important and I want you to be acknowledged. And so, yes, yes, I think it's so great. It's just so wonderful what can happen through connection, through that, that special space, spirit to spirit, soul to soul. So yes, of course, of course I'm with you. Of course I hear you and thank you. And I love you back, I love you back. I love you back so much. Thank you for being with me, standing by me, for loving me. And I love you back, love you back. 
love you back and I will keep loving you back. This is really great. You gotta tell her. I really appreciate it so much. And I'm so blessed. I'm so, so blessed. Thank you. Thank you all very, very, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Coming in. Wow, that's George Michael. He really, he's joyful. That's the energy. I would say it's joyful. We're just gonna love that. We're just gonna love that. Her body's feeling really good right now. She's gonna love this. She's gonna love watching this. Let me just help her back though. She's kind of in a hurry today. She's got a lot on her mind apparently. I'll talk to you again. Sure. I'm gonna lay. I'm gonna lay back a little bit because my head's a little. Um, I'm gonna try to open my eyes here. It's Bridget. I'm Bridget's in, in totally fully in control. I just need the energy because there's been multiple to, and that was an incredible high vibration of George Michael. That was an incredibly high vibration. I did not expect that. That was beautiful. What a gift. Wow. And then Prince tried to ground me a little bit because the vibration of, of uh, George Michael was so up, 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 up on the top. So I'm coming back in and trying to kind of connect. Oh, I almost felt a little drunk, kind of like a buzz or something. It was kind of weird. I was like, whoa, I didn't feel sick or dizzy at all. It was really, it was like blissed out or something, overly joyful, like really high energy. So when Prince came back in to try to just, I could feel him in my lips and in my, like my upper chest, but I couldn't feel him in my head. I couldn't feel Prince in my head. So I was waiting until he could kind of take over the space and then I could come back in because it's really comfortable for me to do that. So, wow, that was great. Okay, so I'm going to do a video, an after channel video to chat with my husband about the experience and for me as an observer, um, what it felt like and um, what I, I gained from it. I don't remember everything in a transformative channel. Most things I remember, but I, the recall is a little bit more tricky for me. So this is Bridget at Above Life Channel. I hope you've enjoyed this transformative channel with George Michael in the afterlife. Remember, the purpose of Above Life Channel is to inspire your spirit and fill you up with hope. Make sure that you like this video, you comment, and you share it with others that would love it. Also, make sure you click that red bell to subscribe on YouTube and you'll never miss a new weekly channeling video. Thanks for being here.